my friends. It's Sue Bonzel with you, and it is the Wine Wednesday edition of Hot Tub Happy Hour. I, um, you might be wondering why in the hell I'm wearing a tiara. Um, well, number one, you guys probably already think I'm crazy anyways. I'm in a tub with a bunch of uh, floaty ducks and flamingos and unicorns. So um, why not put on the tiara today too? Actually, there's a really good reason for it. Uh, today, it's uh, gonna be bubbly. Okay, one of my favorites. Oh, there's John. Hi, Jim. One of my all-time favorite bottles of wine is Breathless. So this is a reason to put on a tiara, okay? Anytime you're having bubbles, but especially for Breathless. Now, if you're not familiar with Breathless wines, they are in Healdsburg. Um, and I have to tell you that they, in um, January this year, they entered the San Francisco Chronicle competition. Hi, Savannah. And um, I happened to be a judge at that uh, Chronicle competition. I was not able to be on the panel that uh, did the sparkling, but I was on the sweepstakes panel. And this wine, this is their Blanc de Noir. This wine went all the way to um, oh, no sound. Somebody said no sound. Did you turn up your sound? Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me? I hope you can. Anyways, send me a note if you can't hear me. Hi, Leanna. Can you hear me? No sound? I don't know. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's me. I don't know. Just keep drinking. Anyways, uh, Breathless was at the uh, San Francisco Chronicle, made it all the way to the sweepstakes round. So they went up against some amazing sparkling wines. And... Uh, they took the number one sparkling wine out of all of the sparkling wines that were entered. Uh, San Francisco Chronicle competition is one of the, it, I think it is the biggest uh, in the United States and they've actually, um, oh, John says he can hear me. Okay, good. <laughs> Must've been operator error. Yay, bubbles, whoop, whoop. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, I am the princess. Thanks, Leanna. Um, so yeah, so uh, they were the, they were the top, uh, the top sparkling and I'm really excited about that. And. Um, I've had this many times and uh, let's get this going. My friend, whoa, yeah, there we go. It is a good one. So my friend Sharon, she's one of the, uh, one of the owners along with her sisters. And um, I, I love her because if you go to any events in Sonoma County, a lot of the ladies events and things like that, um, she loves to uh, be at the events. She is always bringing a smile. She's bringing um, her amazing wines and I uh, really appreciate everything she does in our community. It's very giving for a lot of these um, fundraisers and everything. She also, this is the other cool thing that Sharon does, uh, Sharon does sabering. So uh, sabering of the bottles. If you've never seen anybody sh saber a bottle of champagne, fascinating. I got to do it for the first time last year for my birthday. And yes, I was wearing a tiara for my birthday also when I sabered. So. Um, uh, cheers, and she got me this little glass, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, it says Breathless on it. I think you can get those at their tasting room. Pretty awesome. Mmm. Oh, mm, just like I remember. It's like a little bit of strawberries. Mmm. Oh yeah. This, um, I'm so glad that nobody's here because then I don't have to share it. Uh, it's pretty much all mine. Thank you. All right, Wine Wednesday. Mmm. -hmm. Oh yeah, mm. oh, so yummy. Okay, so you know how you go on to social media and you learn these things and you go, how did I not know that? I am how old and I just learned that. So these are the things that are like the top 10 that I found that are the, um, I was today years old when I learned these things. So uh, number one, did you know that tag stands for touch and go? Did not know that. You know, we used to play tag when we were kids. Tag, you're it. Had no idea it was touch and go. Okay, just learned today. Number two, the word race car spelled backwards is race car. <laughs> that's okay. Didn't know that. And you look at it and you go and you go, yeah, that's exactly right. Race car backwards is race car. Didn't know. Number three, this is a good one. This is all for my, uh, for my friends. I think uh, Leanna will appreciate this. Did you know that bar 
stands for beer and alcohol room. Yeah, I was today years old when I found out that that is what bar means, beer and alcohol room. Okay, number four, did you know that when someone says break a leg in an audition, it's because they hope you end up in the cast? Did not know that, makes total sense, okay. All right, that was my number four. All right, number five. Okay, with the whole showbiz thing. The first episode of a show is called a pilot because it's the first time it hits the air. Did not know that. Always, we always know the first one is called a pilot, but didn't know why, because it's the first time it hits the air. It's brilliant, who makes this stuff up? All right, good old club sandwich, right? Apparently club stands for something. I did not know this, okay? Chicken, lettuce, under bacon. Club sandwich. Brilliant. Ah, did not know that. Okay. Number seven. This is actually kind of funny because <laughs> it kind of ruins it for the kids. Um, so you don't actually tell them the real meaning, but you know, when you did this little piggy went to market. Yeah. It doesn't mean that uh, that little piggy went shopping at the store for groceries. Yeah. Piggy went to market. Oh, oh, how's that? Okay, uh, number eight. Okay, this, I love this show. If you watch that 70s show, you are probably familiar with the character of Fez. So um, apparently Fez, F-E-S is the way they spell it, stands for foreign exchange student. So they literally call him foreign exchange student and don't even call him by his name. I don't even know what his real name is, but. Okay, just learned that. I was today years old when I learned. Okay, number nine. This is actually really funny and very clever. Um, you know how they say, if you're not here, if you're, let's see, if you're not there, you're square. That's because you're not around. Square, not around. Brilliant, had no idea. Isn't that so funny? Yes, Catherine's with us and Lindsay. Yeah, Catherine, you're right. Uh, breathless bubbles are amazing. Amazing. Mm. By the way, before I get to my number, my number 10, when you go to their tasting room, when we get out of jail and we get to go to wine tasting in Healdsburg, they've got this really cool like little motor car, sidecar little thing that's got their logo on it. It's beautiful powder blue. It's so cute. You can sit in and take pictures. I got tons of pictures because every time I see it, when they bring it out, I gotta go sit in it, take a picture. So photo op next time you go to Breathless. All right, all right, my number 10. These are the things that you were today years old that you just learned. This happens to me a lot because I don't pay attention. Okay, news, the word news, N-E-W-S, stands for Notable Events Weather Sports. Who knew? But I find it interesting that we listen to the news. We don't get a lot of notable events, weather, and sports anymore. Hmm. Gabriel, he's asking me how much is a bottle. I believe last time I looked at the uh, website, it was uh, only $32 a bottle. Actually, not bad for the caliber of bubbles that this is. So this is Breathless, the Blanc de Noir. Oh, so delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that about covers that. Do we want to talk about anything else? I really wish somebody would come and like hang out in my hot tub and then we can like have a conversation. Hopefully uh, once we can uh, open up some stuff and feel a little more comfortable, maybe I could get somebody in my hot tub here and, and uh, do, do a little um, interview or something and somebody to share. Although, like I said, I'm, I'm okay with not sharing my bubbles today. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, happy Wine Wednesday. Thank you guys for tuning in to Hot Tub Happy Hour. And if you want to subscribe and like, just go to my YouTube channel. Okay, I got a YouTube channel now. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Leanna, girl therapy in the hot tub. Yeah, I don't know that we'll all fit, but uh, yes, we're moving towards that eventually. <laughs> uh, we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. Uh, so, yeah, go to my YouTube channel, uh, like, and all that good stuff. So, uh, I'm going to have some more bubbles. And uh, I'll probably turn on the bubbles 
And uh, one of these days we still are gonna do the duck races. I have to retrofit my hot tub because I've done some experimenting. So that's still coming up. Duck races, uh, unicorn races, the whole deal. Friday's coming up. I think I might be making mojitos for Friday. So yay. Have a good evening. See you soon. Bye.